we have two transport one is internet one is mpls right now we have only configured only internet we will configure the mpls also but in we manage we can see our first device is up manage is up you can click on the green button okay branch and version control connection one omp session right now we will configure the mpls also the only ip we need to configure and color vpn 0 interface g0 slash 1 i am using g0 slash 1 for mpls on all devices uh, tunnel interface color i will use the mpls there are multiple color but already we have taken a session on public color and private color so in the private color if you want to use private one private two private three that thing you can use i'm using private color is mpls okay and no shutdown okay sorry i mean into the encapsulation ipsec go out because right now i'm in tunnel interface so here i need to unshut no shutdown okay now ip address i am using 12.1.1.2 in my topology all the gateway is dot one and on site i am using dot two ip address 12.1.1.2 slash 30 that's it uh, description if you want to give you can but on that when we will create a template then i will show you how you can attach those one. description mpls transport after commit okay i need to assign one default route also in vpn 0 for mpls 0, 0, 0. 12.1.1.1 that's it Sachin, uh, yes mm -hmm. regarding this vpn zero mm -hmm. my all the traffic like control plane traffic management traffic and data traffic will move via this vpn zero or for no. data purpose Do your you management you traffic will go via vpn 512 management 512 and yeah, control right. traffic will be via this with yeah. Europe, right? Yeah, yeah. All the traffic will to your what smart the, manage. Mm -hmm. What about the data traffic? If I want to communicate with other edge router or other site client, so which VPN uh, will be used for that traffic, data traffic, I mean? This VPN 0 will also use. See, the traffic will come from service VPN. But th this VPN 0 mm -hmm. is means the transport all your mpls internet 4g is a part of vpn 0 all when transport is vpn 0 it's the okay. same like as your router your router connected with other v23 van links whatever traffic is coming from lan that will mm -hmm. be go via van correct okay yeah. the same thing is here traffic will come from lan and it will be go via vpn 0 but those lan site interface is not part of vpn 0 they are part of vpn 1 2 3 4 5 till 511 yeah, right? that we it need to advertise uh, to the van right you don't need to advertise by default it will work you don't need to especially go to advertisement that as you will connect the lan it will automatically advertise it will learn the subnet which is connected on lan so and what sure. about the uh, tunnel between edge uh, between uh, two uh, two edges or two branch offices? Do we yeah, need to create? No, no, no. It will automatically. I will show you. Just I have made one connection up for any IPsec tunnel. You don't need to do any configuration. Only your VPN zero interface will be part of tunnel interface. That's it. That configuration you need to do. That it will automatically form the tunnels. Okay. So 
if I can show you here in this one, we can see my MPLS is already already up, right? So, means previously this controller connection was up through public internet. Now it is up through MPLS also. One important thing you need to note here, you can see the difference. We manage is only using public internet. Why? Whatever the first connection edge is formed with that color with we manage that will be remain same now if by chance internet is down then it will go via mpls till internet is up it will follow the uh, public internet path when it internet down it will change to the mpls okay so right now we can see it is using public internet the interface is up it will prefer the internet uh transport for communication right yeah, yeah. <laughs> means whenever any uh, first internet uh, your first transport is up means the it will not disconnect the uh, its existing connection uh, if another transport is introduced later on so whichever is the first one it will prefer that one uh, suppose i will make the public internet down for example if i will go to this isp and my port is gi0 slash 1 let me shut down interface gi0 slash 1 shut down okay now if i will go there uh, ping let me check i made the correct port shut down or yeah gi0 slash 1 in my topology gi0 slash 1 it means 11.1.1 .1 should not ping 11.1.1.1 okay it is not pinging okay and i will check my mpls 12.1.1.1 it is pinging now let me check my control connections so here you can see it is changed to mpls now now vman is forming okay this one here you can see right so it is it is by default behavior of uh, this uh... it's by default behavior um now now if i will make the internet connection up Okay, let's see what happened. No shut down. It should not be switched back. It will keep with the MPLS. Tail MPLS is not down. So unnecessary don't switch if existing connection is working fine. Here you can see if I will ping my internet ping 11. Not one, not one, not one is pinging okay let's see the control connection it is not switch back it will still stuck with mpls now if mpls is down then it will switch to the public internet it's by default right so, how this uh, device will come to know this is uh, the internet uh, uh, link do we need to define anywhere or prioritize the link like preference first we need to uh, go the first means controller traffic will use this li link and that link something like that on the vh device no, no, see, see, there should see, be see, any see, any see, uh, see, anywhere see, see. that is you are you are, you are you are mixing multiple questions okay see we have configured two interface here one is internet one is mpls right how devices know it is internet that is the color we already discussed last week the two kind of color private color public color so when we define this public internet or biz internet or uh, gold or biz so that's no the device no okay this interface have the exposure to the public internet right and if you define the mprs color here so this device knows okay this is the private circuit not a public circuit on that and, basis uh, uh, it will choose the interface that that thing right no, no, no. 
on the, the on that basis it will choose the dia if you want to do local breakout for we managed connection it is not choosing in that way actually it is our lab our mpl is also having exposure to reach to the we manage and we bond some company maybe does not have they are not exposing their internet they are not exposing their mpls towards internet maybe they are using pure private circuits they don't want that mpls should reach to the internet okay so now right now first time when we make the internet connection up it was having a connection with we manage when we make the internet connection down it switch to the another available transport which is also having a reachability towards we manage now we make the internet connection up but it is still with the mpls because it knows it is stable connection how it is not we discuss the bfd right by by directional forward detection it automatically check the latency jitter path liveliness for every transport time to time right if you remember we learned that last week or maybe if anyone wants to give more weight on to mpls or uh, you know uh, isp or internet they can use a floating static routes right no oh, they yeah they can use the policies suppose you want oh, on that day i told you if you don't want that okay my mpls should not form any control connection with we manage you can use the command here after the color maximum control connection zero that's it it will not form any connect control connection with your controllers only your internet will be able to reach till controllers that's how you can control so it's depend on you suppose you, there is a limitation of i think it's a seven seven transport maximum you can use on one device so you don't want that all seven transport will be able to reach here you will find so many long list here here if you have some transport you can assume how many long list you have here unnecessary your edge is having the processor and uh, memory right so uh, unnecessary because these are the tunnels it's live so unnecessary it will consume your memory and processor of that device so you can use uh, suppose you have three transport or four transport you can configure okay i want only two transport will make a tunnel with this controller these two turn other other two uh, transport will not form any tunnel right so that's where you can control i hope i have cleared or uh, yes sir since i have another question like we do have a two default routes here so how it will feel like like where to send the traffic to reach that particular segment so generally we do have only one default route and if we have a two then it works as a load balancer but load balancing or something but how here it works like for because we are targeting two different segment from two different for two different routes so actually it is a can you actually it's a lab so that's the reason we are putting a uh, this two default route otherwise normally we put for the internet for mpls either we will create a bgp session or just a next hop ip so we don't have any actual msp isp environment here mpls isp so that's the reason we are just making a connectivity from this device to the this controller okay so regarding your load balancing load balancing mechanism related to the edge not for the static routing and the not for the routes yeah that's yeah i mean yeah, just edge. to get connected with uh, the v smart and v bond yeah. yeah yeah okay so load balancing mechanism related to the edge device it use the bfd it doesn't matter that static ip you are using uh, other things it will yeah, so those them. routes are only for to create a transport uh, tunnels yeah, right yeah yeah transport okay. tunnels okay sure. so our one edge is up and now we will activate another edge like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn sd van thank you so much